here's a quick message. You'll never be LeBron James, ever. I don't know, I just, that just came in my head just now. I don't know why. But yeah, you'll never be LeBron James. Sorry. Set this one out tonight. I told y'all last year, this person is a disgrace to the NBA. He has no morals or morality. What makes you think he's going to be the face? Imagine somebody who does who came out and lied about being pregnant, questioning somebody's morals. Have y'all ever seen a picture of her? Like, she's shaped, she's shaped like a bug's life. Her BBL is crazy. <laughs> that man knows he's playing on a bad knee. Like, literally, when we were together, his, his knee was messed up when we were together, when we were sleeping together. He literally couldn't do certain moves all freaking night. Honestly and truly, I really hope they keep that man, Zion Williamson, benched so the Pelicans can actually make it to the playoffs this year and be an amazing team. Here's a quick message. It just sound like Zion put that thing down and now you mad you can't have it no more. I hate when y'all be like applied pressure. I look like alcohol pads. me at night. Got it, and we in 2024. I'm not chasing you. My legs hurt. Like, you, like, what's up? My feet, I'm not running. I got a little bit of asthma. Power pressure for what? I'm like a band-aid. So I'm a power pressure. I feel him, though. I'm married. I don't have to deal with none of that. But that whole applying pressure, because you might be applying pressure to the wrong person. <laughs> Shorty said, I'm moving out. <laughs> moving out. You don't have to worry about nobody coming to get you and kill you. Because I'm going to go to the area. You're going to get put out. Right? You're going to get put out. <laughs> Some Fetty Wap shit going on. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Free my boy Fetty Wap out the feds. I don't be finding videos like this funny because you never know what type of health issues somebody have. And you might pull a practical joke on somebody and they die of a heart attack. I know it's a little extreme, but you never know. You might scare somebody to death. I'm in my 30s. Yes. I have random ass back pain. Mm. Pain. Neck pain. I'm pretty much falling apart, but hey, at least I look good. Hey, she ain't tell no lie. She ain't tell no lie. Yo, being in your 30s, I ain't going to say it, it, it sucks. I'm not going to say that because it came with a lot of experience. But sitting down for too long, staying in one position for too long. Boy, yesterday I went to hoop with my, my friends from college. And after we played about five games, which was too much, which was way too much for motherfuckers in their 30s. Every one of us was limping back to the car. I remembered when we was like 23, we used to do the same and we still had more energy to go. I'm in my 30s. I know what I like. I know what I don't like. And I don't care what you like. I'm in my 30s. I'm mean? not dating for fun. I'm dating for a husband. So, what's your credit score? Are you open to therapy? Have you been arrested? How many kids you got, baby mamas? How many girls you follow on IG? You want a dating app? You play video games? You friends with your ex? What's going on playing video games? Yes, we can go out, but just not two nights in a row. We're not starting to go out after 10. Actually, let me just stay my ass in the house. I'm in my 30s. Facts. Everyone younger than me thinks I'm old, and everyone older than me thinks I'm young. I'm in my 30s. I don't have no time to waste with you. I'm in my 30s. I'm grown, bro. I'm in my 30s. Why am I not married with kids? I'm in my 30s. Yes. I have random ass. I'm in my 30s. Why am I not married with kids? That, That's the one. That's the one right there. I'm not going to knock any woman that's in her 30s that's not married with kids. 
because maybe you had a different purpose in life. And we're not doing that. We're not coming down on women in their 30s who don't have kids who aren't married because at the same, with the same breath that we would question that, we'll turn around and say, she's not as valuable as she thinks she is. That should come at a discounted price. So yeah, I'm not knocking no woman that's in her 30s, that's not married, that's single. I feel as though as men, we don't take accountability. We don't take accountability knowing that we have friends out here that are dogs. I have friends that are dogs that has wasted good women's time. Girls, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've had no sleep. Um, and I'm working till 10 tonight. I feel like killing myself. Hello, yes, I can show you where this is. Are you 22? Why don't you look at what it says on the fucking board instead of asking me what aisle butter is in? That's why life whooping your ass, because you can't fight. Who you hurting with them punches? <laughs> I feel for everybody that work customer service. Because there's always a dumb motherfucker that's going to ask you a stupid question. And then on top of that, you have to deal with all these random personalities of people you don't know. And the company is holding that slogan over your head. The customer is always right. For how much people get paid to do customer service, it's not worth it. Three, four. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? You know what I mean, how you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm good, coach. If you need us, let me know. Yes, sir. All right? Yeah. I'm proud of you, boy. Keep yeah. balling, man. Appreciate Keep it. Keep balling. So in case y'all don't know who that is, that is Nate Robinson's son. Um, Nate Robinson reportedly came out and said that he doesn't have long to live unless he gets a kidney transplant. And you know, when I read that, I was kind of hurt because I grew up on Nate Robinson. Like, Nate Robinson was representing for us short kings. He won the dunk contest. He's out there blocking Yao Ming. To see him go from doing that to having to get dialysis because he his kidneys are bad is sad, you know? And if you watch this video, shout out to Deion Sanders, by the way. If you watch this video, it's the same question. Each response means something different. So... Shout out to Nate Robinson and his his family, man. Keep them in your prayers. I'm sitting here thinking, I think one of my toxic traits is if you like me and I happen to like you back, honestly, baby, my government name is off limits <laughs> for you. It is. I don't care what my mama call me, what my friends call me. I don't care about none of that. Do not call me by my government name. I'm sorry. Because in my mind, you mad at me. In my mind, you don't love me no more. So what's the problem? Oh. Yo, when I'm upset with my wife, I do call about her government. All that babe, baby, all that shit go out the window. Yes, Denea. What do you want, Denea? I definitely call her by her government. Maybe she have a point. I don't care if we get into a disagreement, because we don't do arguments. I don't care if we get into a disagreement. Do not call me by my government name. I'm your baby, your love, your ma, your everything, your number one. If you can't pick a name between those and you jump straight to my government, bye. <laughs> See you later, cause what? Don't like what I'm saying, don't like me. You can't give me a nickname and stick to it through thick and thin. I'm not the one for you. I'm sorry. I need I need you to be I need to be the nickname all the time. You hear me? All the time. And if I can't, huh, huh, <laughs> see you later. Cause what call me when my devil name is crazy bonkers insane. Like I'm sitting here thinking I Yeah, no, nah, she toxic. She toxic as hell. Like, this one of them girls that'll do shit. Y'all getting a disagreement about something. Five minutes later, she'll come back like nothing happened. I don't know. What would you do as a guy for a day? Huh? What would you do as a guy for a day? As a guy? I'm going outside. <laughs> I'm going outside. I'm going to beat up all of the <laughs> that broke my heart. <laughs> she get revenge. Kill Bill. Hold on. I <laughs> Yo, I was thinking something completely different when she said I'm going outside. But I Shorty said I'm I'm getting revenge on all the dudes that broke my heart. I feel you. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know if that's son's real voice. His voice is crazy, son. The first time I heard him talk, it was like another interview he was doing, and I'm like, bro, why he sound like that? 
I thought he was making a voice. Is he making a voice? Does anybody know? Can somebody put me on? Cause ever since Pop Smoke came out, everybody, who you know. Happy Friday, everybody. Oh. I don't know about you, but I'm loving this spring weather. The fresh air, the flowers blooming. It's amazing. I just can't wait till it starts to rain. Hold on. Tell me if I'm tripping, cause this 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 doing this doing it for me. The way she's swinging that axe is doing it for me. Rain and things like that. Uh huh. Come on, girl, you got it. You got this. Go, you got this. Got this, come on. Yes, sir. I'm not weird because that just did it for me. Was that like a fetish? You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me ask y'all a question, right? How do y'all feel about some of these ladies that do CrossFit? Now I ain't talking about the body build bodybuilding bitches that just be out here looking like she hulk. I'm talking about the joints that just, they toned. Because I've seen some videos now, and some of them be all right. Like a perfect example of a chick I'm talking about is like uh, Jade Cargill. Do y'all watch wrestling? Jade Cargill from wrestling, I think she's sexy as hell. Would you date a Jade Cargill? Put some hot boiling water on it. There he goes. That's exactly what we wanted. Nice little shape. Let's remove it from our water. Let that drip a bit. And we place it right here. Yo, why is that making my, my body tingle like? Perfect. Got a little hot sauce. But we're using barbecue on this. Nice little brush. Careful. Get it all in those cracks. Now we come through with some sesame seeds. All the way. There we go. Now check out this bun right here. We go ahead and push in. Just like that. Get some chips. this and go with a couple more a little hot sauce that's what it's for cheese bro nice people always cheddar. find a way place it here we got some butter slide it right in there Give it a full. Put some. people always find a way to make things look more nasty than they actually are now I ain't gonna lie I grew up eating hot dogs Pause. I'm I'm from Brooklyn, you know. Nathan's is is really popular in New York, but I grew up eating Nathan's hot dogs. Pause. And um, I ain't never do no shit like that. Now I ain't gonna act like I ain't never put no chips, no potato chips on a Subway sandwich. Hold on, I'm put y'all I'm put y'all on right now. Get you a tuna sandwich at, at Subway. You know, put all all the essentials: lettuce, tomatoes, uh, cucumbers. All the essentials, honey mustard, and throw some layers in between that. Throw some layers, original potato chips in between that. Then holla at me later. I guarantee you it changed your life. But this right here, that just looked nasty. It was something about the way the the the, the uh the meat paws. Mm. It's something about the way the hot dog was folding up and cut it. It it, it made my body feel kind of weird.